Okay, so a question we often get is, can I install a pool table up or downstairs? Well, simple answer, yes you can, but it is quite tricky. Uh, pool tables are very heavy and they're quite delicate in nature. Um, so it's quite important that you understand what's involved. So in this video, I'll take you through the different things you need to look at if your intended location for your pool table is up or downstairs. So the first thing to think about is how does a pool table come? Well, in terms of the actual table itself, it's supplied in a few different components. So if we look at this particular table here, Lancaster, but any most pool tables are the same. You've got the main cabinet of the table, you've got the slate inside it, and then you've got the legs. So the legs will come separate, the slate will be out of the table, and then you'll have the cabinet to carry up the stairs. So that's quite easy. Legs are quite easy just to take up on their own. The actual cabinet itself, they're not too heavy, depends what sort of table it is. Uh, but this particular one is nice and narrow, so it'd be easy to carry up uh, vertically up the stairs. But then you come to the slate, and slate is the, is the tricky part here because that is really heavy. So the slates weigh between 110, 120, 130 kilos, depending on what size slate it is, um, of, of what manufacturer it comes from. So that's the key consideration, is will the slate go up your stairs? If you'd like to see what's involved in a standard pool table installation, then check out our installation video, and that will show you what's involved with putting a standard table together. Okay, so when you're choosing your table, that will really need to come down to what is involved with going up or down the stairs in your property, because that will dictate what type of table you need to choose. So let's talk you through that so you can understand what it's like. So if you've got straight stairs, you can walk straight into your property, go straight up the stairs, and there's no turns, go straight out onto the landing, and you can get it straight into the room it needs to go to. That makes it so much simpler because you can just carry the table straight up there, you can carry the slate up on its side and it'll go up the stairs really easily. So you could get a six or seven foot uh, table because the slate sizes, if you go for a seven foot table, the slate itself is only six foot uh, in length and you can carry that up on its side and carry it vertically up the stairs. So that's nice and easy. If you've not got such a straightforward staircase as that, you've got some turns, maybe the ceiling's a bit tighter, then you really need to look at putting a six foot slate in there because the slate itself would be just over five foot in length. So it makes it a lot easier to carry it up there and you can sort of even get it up on end to get it round turns. So that's the important thing to consider in terms of the size of table that you're gonna choose. Okay, so here you can see our delivery installation team taking a seven foot slate up some stairs. Now, in fact, this has not only got one turn, it's got two turns, it's a U-shaped uh, staircase, but because there's so much room, they're easily able to take the slate on its side up the stairs between just two of our engineers. Okay, so let's look at other options then that you've got. There's two really for you to consider. You've got either buying a dry build table or a sectional slate table. So let's talk about dry build first of all. So a dry build table, the reason it's called a dry build is because the cabinet is supplied in component form. So you've got all the panels are all supplied separately and they're designed by the manufacturer to be screwed together without using any glue, which is why it's called a dry build. Um, a standard table cabinet will be screwed in places, bolted in other places, but will use glue to hold the cabinet together. If your location that you need to put your table into isn't uh, easy for a full-size cabinet, so it's generally the sort of deeper commercial style cabinets to be installed there, then we can get the manufacturer to make it for you in component form. Uh, we'll carry it up piece by piece into your installation location and our team will actually then build that cabinet in the room for you. And the good thing is, is because it's been screwed together, it means if you move house or you want to sell the table in the future, it can just be simply unscrewed, taken down piece by piece and reinstalled in the new location. Okay, so the other option to go down is to get a sectional slate table. And a sectional slate table is where the slate itself is supplied in three pieces. So a one piece slate is obviously just one piece. And that can be tricky as we say to carry upstairs. But if you go for a sectional slate table, uh, so for example, if you want to say get an eight foot table installed upstairs, but you couldn't fit an eight foot slate in one piece up the stairs, then purchasing an eight foot sectional slate table is the way to go. And here you can see in this video, our installation team putting together a Brunswick Brixton table. You can see the three different sections of slate that are used to put this table together to give you the one piece playing surface. So if you're after a sectional slate table, all of our listings on the website do explain if they are available in a, in a sectional format or not. But if you're getting confused, you're not too sure 
which style of table to go for to be able to get that eight foot or nine foot table upstairs, then just give our sales guys a ring. We'll be able to talk you through the choices and help you decide which will be the best one for you. Okay, so hopefully you're a bit better versed in what's involved in going up or downstairs with a pool table. What do you do next if you've got an upstairs or downstairs location? Well, the thing to do is to have a look at what's involved with going up or down the stairs and then get some advice from us. So take some photographs. We do have customers actually take some videos of it. They'll even draw on a piece of paper what the measurements are and what the route will be that the table will take. And that's massively helpful to help us help you decide which table is best for you. So that's the first thing to do. Take some photos, take some measurements, get in touch with our sales team. Let's talk through what's involved and we'll help advise you on the style of table that you're after, what's involved in getting that table into your location of choice.